Hello and welcome to another We Are Cunard video blog. Today marking a very special occasion for Cunard because this afternoon I'm at the glitzy West End David Lindley Studios and we're going to be marking the unveiling of a very special piece of artwork which will grace the grand lobby of our new Queen. The world awaits Queen Elizabeth and it's true, there's anticipation in all of our markets around the world and tonight we launched The World Awaits and we thought we'd wait until we had some special news to go with that. So today it's The World Awaits Queen Elizabeth with David Lindley. It's about history and it's about heritage and it's good fun too. The ability to use the Cunard Line brand and it's remarkable to think that in the last six years Cunard will have built three new ocean liners. On each of our liners we have a wonderful grand lobby and on Queen Victoria and on Queen Mary too we have a beautiful piece of art. But this time we wanted to go further. We wanted to work with a British icon. We wanted something which would really stand out. Now here is a picture away, of what the Queen Elizabeth Grand Lobby will look like. And it's very apt that we're standing here on some stairway because here is the beautiful stairway in the Grand Lobby. And here is a space. And to talk about that space, I'm going to hand across to David Lindley. Well, I'd just like to say a few words, just to say that I'm incredibly proud uh, to be here today to announce the collaboration between Lindley and Cunard and uh, to unveil what I must stress is very much a mock-up of the significant piece uh, that we're making uh, for them. One, two, three. So this is the marketry panel um, that we're making for the Queen Elizabeth, um, which will be launched in October later this year. I'd just like to say that we are incredibly honoured um, that the Lindley screen will occupy such a, a prominent position on board the Great Liner. I think you'll agree that it's an incredible feat of craftsmanship when it's finished and will befit its prestigious surroundings. <laughs> What inspired you to maybe approach David Lynn in the first place? Well, for Queen Elizabeth, everything has to be very, very special indeed. And we're famed for having these wonderful pieces of artwork in the grand lobbies on board Queen Mary II and Queen Victoria. But for Queen Elizabeth, it had to be that bit more special. And we decided marquetry would. Very British, beautiful, different to what many other ships around the world are doing, unique. And then we thought, well, who knows about wood? and we thought there was only one man, and that's David Lindley. And of course, his links to Cunard in the past and to the royal family, it just all made terrific sense. I was written to and asked, would I contribute to it? And um, I'm very honoured to say that um, being part of a great project like this is, uh, is fantastic. Well, the woods predominantly, as you can tell here, this is walnut, um, then there's bird's eye maple here, and then you've got Vivona burr around the outside. Um, and, and you can see them here. So there's a great variety and it's sort of like painting in wood. Mm -hmm. um, so one's using the artistic design, again with the ship in the middle, very, very deco in feel, um, giving this wonderful deco look, but also incorporating obvious places where they go. How much were you involved with Cunard about what exactly to do? You know, we see ourselves very much as a service to their aims. What is best for them? What do they want? So we're, our first meeting was very much made up of what's the feel of the, of the great ship and wh how will people behave on it and that sort of thing. And, and they were very, very keen to stress that this is a, a very great meeting place. So a lot of people would be photographed there, there would be, you know, mementos would be taken there. So we, we tried to think of something that would be very, very much, you know, encapsulating the whole ship. I can't help thinking when our guests walk onto the ship for the first time, they will look up to their right and see that iconic Queen Elizabeth in this beautiful marquetry wood, and they'll instantly feel at home on Cunard. They'll just relax and get straight into their experience. So uh, it's, it's going to be very special. I looked to the past um, with Cunard to some of the posters that um, have, have been before, and I tried to integrate uh, the Art Deco style into this um, piece. So how many different woods are you going to be using in total on, on the 
on the piece? Uh, there's quite a number. Um, <laughs> I, th I think it's about nine. And then it'll arrive completely made and then be attached to the, uh, the bulkhead of the ship in situ, as it were. It will be installed, yeah. No doubt overseen very closely by yourself. Yes, it will be. <laughs> some exciting announcement to make about dining on board the ship, a really remarkable difference in terms of what we plan with entertainment, other artwork, a whole series of announcements and the world's waiting. Fantastic, well thank you very much indeed Peter, really appreciate your time and uh, thank you for inviting me to this wonderful event. Oh, you're right. very welcome, I mean, yet again we are Cunard and tonight's been very special. <laughs> thank you Peter and thank you very much indeed for joining us again for another We Are Cunard video blog. We look forward to seeing you again very soon because, of course, it's not long before Queen Elizabeth enters service. So, see you soon.